how to get into the zone as an introvert. Yeah. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Today I want to specifically speak about being an introvert growing up, okay? And how I almost taught myself a little bit more how to be an extrovert, but also how I owned my introversion and made it my strength, okay? So the first thing you've got to understand, the main difference between introverts and extroverts is introverts get their energy from within, extroverts get their energy from other people. So actually, right now in lockdown, the introverts are winning, right? The introverts are winning because they're able to find that energy from within them. So I've always had this subliminal understanding that, hey, I can get my validation handled internally. Obviously, I had to go through a lot of hard times and suffering to learn that lesson. However, you know, I've started to understand it deeper along into my journey as I'm a lot older. What's showing up in your mind? Why is it not coming out of your lips? You're scared. You're scared what other people will think of you. You gotta first of all break this attachment to this role, this persona. Because first of all, that's not you, okay? The introverts who are staying by themselves, making their own thing work, right? Their own projects, their own business, their own lifestyle, they're creators. As an introvert, you've gotta maintain your own internal energy. As an introvert, you've got to understand your inner world way better than an extrovert, right? An extrovert walks into an environment, maybe they're social, they're outgoing, they can talk naturally, they can connect with people, and you're the observer, you're the one looking at the surrounding environment and creating algorithms out of it and shit, right? So you want to walk in with a different perspective that I've got my character under lock. I've got my introversion as a superpower right now that I can actually control my beingness that other person can't they're conditioned they're conditioned to be social they have fomo okay i don't have fomo i know what i'm doing is awesome okay so as an introvert you got to know what you're doing is awesome you're not missing out on anything okay because again the marketing the media all of that is there to make you feel that fomo oh my god i have this fear of missing out missing out all what some lame ass party where people get too drunk and they start wobbling around. This was like my graduation party, right? Everybody vomiting on the floor and shit. Like, do I really want to be in that tribe where people are doing that? Or do I want to be up leveling in my life? You're missing out on this supposed lifestyle that's been created and manufactured and cultivated and curated. It's manufactured authenticity. This is what I keep saying to people, right? It looks like authenticity. It's not. And they're showing you like two seconds of the reel, but you didn't see the fight outside at the party. I understand. I understand that you want to fit in. Uh, that's been my whole dilemma growing up, right? I've wanted to fit in, but it also came from a childhood wound. My, one of my core wounds. This is the schizoid archetype, right? In terms of bioenergetic profiles, not like I'm an actual schizoid, okay? Um, just got to make that clear differentiation for people, right? So bioenergetics, look. Look it up. Look it up. Okay. First of all, you become a leader in your own lane. I guess if you follow this kind of alpha male, beta male kind of stuff online, you'd call it a sigma male in a sense, or a sigma female, someone who is broke out of the social hierarchy in a sense. They're not trying to fight for like being the top of the pyramid. They're basically creating their own pyramid. If that makes sense. Okay. First of all, man, as an introvert, you got to give value. People don't know who the fuck you are, right? Who are you? Who in the world are you? You got to share that with the world. Somehow, if you keep holding it inside, no one will know. So at least as an introvert, you need one creative outlet. Drawing, painting, dancing, something creative where you can allow your expression to come out. For me, it was hip hop. You're making music through doodling. I would get on stage and act. I had all of these creative outlets as an introvert growing up. And on stage, I noticed I was a completely different person. I was not an introvert. I could become extroverted by showing this projection or the outer shell of an extrovert. 
So the next thing is to be using your gestures and your hands and expressiveness. This is what I've trained myself over many years. Of course, in hip hop, we use a lot of hand gestures, you know, things like this. So it could have an influence from there too. Obviously, everything is connected. I've understood that communication is such an important skill set that as an introvert, you still have to learn how to communicate. If you don't learn how to communicate, you can't interact with others. And we're social creatures, man. At the end of the day, we want to connect with others. It's just how we connect, who we connect with, and the vibe that's created. So maybe you like more of a chilled out vibe, right? You don't want too much intensity, too much confrontation, too much drama. You want to stay away from it. I understand that. But there will be situations where these things emerge. How do you handle those situations? What is the usual, your usual go-to to escape social situations? Start to notice these things, right? Because I've started to notice them. At certain times, I would just look at my phone or look at my watch, right? Those are my go-to things to kind of detract away from the situation. Like, oh, let me ignore that this thing is not happening right now. And sometimes I would notice myself and a lot of other guys, you know, have probably experienced this too, is they're getting success in a social interaction, but it's getting too good. And then they sabotage themselves and they just eject the conversation. What if it could go right? Oh no. You know, the fear of success. It's a combination of your attachment style. Maybe you're an INFP, INFJ, you know, you got to know the maps. Of course, it makes sense that you'd want to get along with other introverts. But if you get along only with other introverts, you're going to stay there. What you want to do is have an extrovert take you under their wing like a propeller jet and teach you social dynamics. Be around those people. Be around social people. Notice what they're doing. Become like an ethnographer, right? You're studying the culture. You're becoming an anthropologist of this game. You're looking at human behavior now. Behavioral sciences. Yes, yes, my friends. This is the route of the introvert through the intellect, through the mind. And when you have a sharp mind, you can overcome anything, anything in your life. But first of all, we got to get rid of the residue of the mind that actually keeps us stuck, keeps us stagnant, keeps us blocked. All these past traumas, all these storylines, all these insecurities, all these excuses, your ability to procrastinate, all of these different things. So as an introvert, you got to stay in your own lane and magnetize yourself so you attract and not chase. Instead of you going out there, trying to connect and network and like meet people, sure, you can do that, but you're going to feel drained. Get recognized for what you do best. And as an introvert, you want to be building your skill set. You want to be maintaining your skills, right? You want to be an authority. You want to be an expert in your arena. Why? So people come to you for help so you can get more friends? It's not even that, man. You're just not there to make friends, yo. You're there to make allies. Some like high school shit, man. You want to make friends? Okay, you want to make friends, just go to like the park or something. Or like, you know, go to like a bookstore and like start talking to people. Maybe you join a book club. But for right now, if you're a person with purpose in your life and you have a vision in your life, Scratch the coworker thing for a second. You want to be around like-minded think tank people who have similar ideas, who also challenge some of your ideas, right? They keep you on a standard, right? Because if you drop your standard, right? Imagine if you break up with a girl, right? You actually level down. You know what I mean? Like you start dating someone out of your league, like really, really, you know? That's not. No, no. Only better. Only better. Only high quality for me. I'm sorry. I'm not going there. They, yeah, I'll just give it up for anybody, you know. As long as they want me. They like me. I'm good. I'm sorry to say this, but that sounds pathetic. You need to get your brain right. You need to get your mind right. Start valuing your own life. That's the thing for an introvert. You just gotta value your own life. If you're a trailblazer, if you're in your own lane, or maybe you're just shy, man. Maybe you're not even an introvert. Because a true introvert knows that their energy is from within. So if you don't 
create that internal world, that strong internal world as an introvert, it's going to be very difficult for your survival strategy here on this planet because it depends on the tribe. It depends on that, right? You don't have to have a huge tribe either. Just giving yourself, you know, two or three people. You have a small circle, inner circle of friends that motivate you, that push you, that give you that accountability, that have the same level of, you know, humor as you. You can get along. They amplify your vibe and you're in it. You're going, you're going, you're moving. Momentum, momentum. But as an introvert, you're going to have to outcreate your problems. There are many problems in your life that might show up. It's how you handle, how you respond to those problems that gives you the gift of introversion. So yeah, they will tell you, you know, they'll give you the flashy car, you know, the materialistic world. They'll flash you the newest shoe every month, you know. They'll get the newest phone, iOS upgrade, you know, whatever it is. And you just keep smiling, baby. You just keep doing your thing. And eventually, they're the ones who are going to have FOMO. They're the ones who are going to start reaching out to you. After a certain point, you know, men have started to respect me. I used to have bullies in my past. Now men respect me. This is what the journey is about, brother. Or sister, if you're watching this. I know a lot of women love my face on this channel. Shit. Really though, that crystal clear, sharp mentality that just cuts through like a hacksaw with a switchblade ninja star, baby. This is what we're doing up here in this energy, okay? We're lifting it up. Upward spiral, gang, gang, baby. Okay? I'm turning into like a flow state preacher, so if you guys have a problem with that, please unfollow, please unsubscribe right now, okay? Because this is to my people. This is for my people, baby. People watching, my flow Jedi's watching, my Padawans. Where are my Padawans at? Ah, oh, ooh, <laughs> it's turning into a fraternity up in here, okay? Your internal world's strong, you're generous, you're kind, you're giving, you have value, but you have sex appeal, you have strength. You have resilience, you have vitality. And people can sense that it's all in the eyes. If you can maintain eye contact and not look away from someone that you find intimidating, oh boy, you're an introvert with internal strength. It's just you feel unsafe in this world. And I go to Dexter Lab, boy genius, science. Eureka, I did it, did it, did it, I did it. Did it get out of my laboratory? Like, why didn't I take that route? You know what I mean? Because it would be easier to hide. Because it would be easier for me to hide as a scientist and not show my face on social media and just do my thing in my lab, right? Also, it doesn't appeal to me. It does not appeal to me. I want to reach mass audience, wide stage, lots of books, reach the different corners of society where people are hiding. But if this video is on, you can't ignore it. Some people are gonna watch this and take action on it, right? Some people are wondering like, man, I thought you were chill soon. Like, why are you yelling at me right now, man? Gosh, I'm doing it from a place of love, brother, okay? This is tough love, I'm sorry. We gotta create our own lane. We gotta create our own vision. We gotta be monk-like. Disciplined, routines, bump, 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 stack it up. Let's go. Let's go. Get that momentum. Don't give yourself too much structure, okay? You got to find that fine line of being too adaptable and being way too wishy-washy, right? You can't be so adaptable that you're wishy-washy. It's like, yeah, someone else comes along, you know, they have an entirely different set of plans and that entire day is gone, you know? Dedicate all of it to this other person. How many times do you think I say no to like nights out, like all this other shit, right? A lot, a lot, okay? People want to be around me in my energy. But I choose to focus it on where it counts, which is helping out my people. And I don't do that from a virtue signaling place at all, man. I just know that it's a, it's personal. My journey's personal because I've been where you're at. I've been stuck. I've been addicted to, you know, jerking off. I've been addicted to social media and just being, you know, in a rabbit hole, not taking any action, being incredibly depressed, not being able to talk to women, 
in my own head. I've been there, man. I've been there. I've been out of flow. That's how I know how to be in flow. Because I took action. Because I followed my intuition. Because I followed that higher guidance, that Tao, that GPS, that God training system, that G-O-D. I just trusted that. I just went with that. I didn't even know what that was. But now that is living through me. Hallelujah. I understand you guys are like, you can't see past my shades, past my shades, past my shades, right? Some of you guys are doing this kind of stuff. But guess what, man? Sometimes people can see past your shades. They can. They can see right through you. The fact that you're unmotivated, the fact that you're lazy, the fact that you're walking with your head down in the subway, the fact that everything keeps going in the same way, the fact that you keep all this bottled up anger and sadness inside you. I can see that. In fact, I can see that. Intuitive people can see that. Your cry for help is subliminal. Your cry for help is subliminal, right? You're not asking for help. You're kind of just giving them this. And what, they're supposed to know from that, that you're stuck in your own life? You're becoming a troll to try to get some person on YouTube to get your attention? Run along now, little boy. This is not for you. This is for the people who are invested. The flow state lifestyle is an investment. Every single day you drip a little bit of sauce into your life. This is what you're doing. At least 1%. At least 1%. 1% every single day? Woo! You're, you're living water, but you're on fire. I'm a walking paradox. No, I'm not. So this one goes out to Gen Z, Boomers, Gen X, whatever, man. I'm sending out to all of you. Be in your own internal world. Stay strong. Interact and create a self-relation for the other relation. Things will start magnetizing to you when you slowly start envisioning the type of character that you are and truly deserve. Because those extroverts, they can't change themselves. We introverts, we can. We can change ourselves from the inside out, baby. Inside out, like that movie. You see your emotions as little characters in your life and you go, hey, hey, anger, keep it down. Sadness, sadness, oh, I feel you, sadness. Come here, little baby, are you okay? Are you okay, little baby? You know, I don't know why I'm doing like a, the, you know, like a black woman's voice. Are you okay, child? Are you all right there? My little sadness, wadness. And you take control of your emotional world, your emotional regulation. You become a stoic warrior monk with principle, with discipline. And this is how we build, baby. Don't worry, your time is coming. Your time is coming, okay? Don't even worry, man. Put in the work, put in the work right now. You're young, maybe you're old, still put in the work. What, you're going to wait around until you retire to 65 and you have Parkinson's? Do it now. Do it now. Keep putting the work in. A little drip. That's all I'm asking for. It's like having a completely different software that you're working with now, okay? So I hope this video resonated with you today, broke you out of that kind of, you know, slump where you're like, maybe I don't want to get on Zoom calls. You know, maybe I don't want to do this. Well, maybe it's 50%. You're still splitting your attention up. Why don't you decide to get on that Zoom call no matter what? Why don't you show your face and turn on the camera? Ooh, can you do that? I challenge you. Let's get it today. We're going to build our personalities, our characters. Upward Spiral Gang, may we never be the same again. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Hit that subscribe button.